one child who said who who wouldn't use the mosaics except for his initial one, and I said to him, "Fine." And he says, "You know, I, I think I get on much better with talking. I learn much more with talking." So I said, "Yes, of course. You know, if that's what you prefer." And uh, so we talked and talked and talked, and after some time, he said, "I've learned a lot." And I think I know myself much better now. I think I'm all well again. And so I think I will finish. So I said, well, it has all been, it's been agreed that when you wish to stop, then you can. And so, so I said, but as you know, um, on your final session, you have to do a mosaic and you have to do a world. And when he did the mosaic, I looked at it and I said, excuse me. So I went back to his file. I retrieved his first mosaic and put it alongside his. And he looked at it and he says, oh, apart from a little bit of development, because instead of having three colors, I now have all five colors. He said, it hasn't really changed basically, has it? And then I said, yes, I agree. And so he says, to me, I think he was a bit sheepish. He says, well, I'd better continue. And then what he did do, which was very interesting, was then he used the mosaic every time just to see how it was. And it took him quite a few more weeks. And then he said, listen, I'm not getting anywhere with this. So he started to use the wells uh, instead of uh, Going, going back to talking, and with the world, it actually unblocked something, uh, and he was able to talk quite differently. And by the time he, he, we agreed that he should go, he made a mosaic, and he made the most fantastic mosaic that I've ever come across, because it was all uh, balanced, it was all with all the colours, and it was all outflowing, uh, and and and. We both grinned like anything, and so he stopped, which was a wonderful thing.